Hey guys, that might give back here for another video guys. Before I start this video, real fast, I want to say I am running a double Xbox One and PS4 giveaway. Now the steps to enter is subscribe to the channel and comment on the giveaway video. Do not comment on this video with your PSN and GT. Comment on the giveaway video. Link down below in the description, card right hand corner, and end screen will also have the video. So again, do not comment on this video, comment on the giveaway video. Let's get right into the video. Hey guys, that Monkey Gamer back here for another video, guys. Today we have a new redemption set in the game. It's actually quite an interesting one. So if you go to the redemption set, you actually see it's Elite Campaign Player. So it's one guaranteed Elite Campaign Player. Um, we're going to see what I pull out of this, but overall, you know, I don't really love this set as much as I love previous sets. Uh, definitely has a chance to give you some major coins so you know I'm not gonna completely doubt until I see who I pull but of course let's get right into it guys who am I gonna get I end up pulling Jordan Howard now with this in mind this set or oh, these players will go down in price so obviously the sooner you can get this done the better but if we go ahead and take a look on uh, Mutthead to see what these players look like actually my bad we go ahead and go to the sets we can actually see what these players look like and see how much money you co coins you could get back from this set so actually i kind of figured for some reason that this was going to be kind of like a uh what's called gold or better so i didn't really read the elite or better thing right here but let's actually take a look at some players you could get so you could go over and get 93 travis kelsey which goes for about how much is it? 20k now. So again, these prices, these cards have come down a lot due to this set being the game. But that also means 89 Travis Kelsey is 190k. So if you pull this guy, you're pretty much gonna make bank. Um. So again, with this set, this set is actually seeming to be more fire than I first thought about because of the fact that you can, you know, pull 189, go 180k player. You could also pull a player that goes for nothing. So let's see how much the Jordan Howard I actually pulled went for. It kind of seems like how previous years Madden works where the lower overall actually goes for the higher amount. So let's actually take a look at this Jordan Howard and see how much he actually indeed goes for. So the Howard I pulled ended up only going for about 12k, so nothing special. Again, with most of these redemption sets, how they usually work is it's a huge hit or miss. So either, you know, you can pull fire and get 100 million coins, or you could lose pretty much half your coins. It's as you, wait, my bad. I don't know why I thought this was weird for a second. But anyway, so as I was saying, you can lose a lot of coins. You can get a lot of coins. With that in mind, is the set actually worth doing? I'm going to put it up to the debate because of the fact that, again, the set cost you, it roughly it cost me about uh, about 20k to do. I got most of the cards, this card goes for 116k now, um, which I got most cards for very, very cheap, so I was able to complete the set for about 20k. It's not that difficult to snipe these cards off the auction block. I actually was just going through for like 5 minutes and I got like, I believe 5 or 10, uh, uh, like 1000 coin snipes. Which, again, it's not that difficult to do. You go through the auction block and you can really find these really easily. As you guys can see, um, the higher overall players you pull are going to be the most, I would say, the least expensive. So if you pull like these 89 or 87 overall cards, you're going to make about 100k plus profit. If you pull the higher overall cards, you're probably not going to make as much profit back. So with that in mind, if you do pull the higher overall, or sorry, lower overall, you can make a lot of coins back and you can make some bank here. As you guys can see, these cards go for about 120k. Well, this card gets 89k, but they go for mostly about uh, 89 to 120k. Um, roughly give or take for these cards right now. So again, if you have them in your binder, definitely go ahead and sell them if you're waiting, you know, for whatever reason and holding on to them. Definitely go ahead and sell them because right now it's the best time to get rid of these cards. Um, and again, this set is this set is pretty much uh, one of the biggest hit or misses in the game right now because of the fact that you know you could pull complete utter fire and you can pull complete utter trash this is actually just a kwan o'neal i completed the set 
I was going to complete all the sets, but the sets totally cost about like 1.6 million each. So I did not complete all the sets, but this is what Kalan O'Neal stats look like real fast. But guys, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to like button, subscribe to the channel if you're new. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.